Joseph's brothers faked his death and sold him. After living as a slave, Joseph's master had him thrown into prison based on a false accusation. After years in prison, Joseph rose to power when he was able to interpret the Pharaoh's dreams and was put in charge of all Egypt. Later there was a famine and Joseph's brothers were starving, so they went to Egypt to buy food. Now Joseph had all the power. He could have had his brothers thrown into prison, but instead he forgave them and gave them food and land in Egypt. After all the messed up things he suffered because of what his brothers did, Joseph forgave them. The end. Wait, no, the story doesn't end there. After their father Jacob died, Joseph's brothers started to worry that he would turn against them. So they sent him a message saying, before our father died, he told us to tell you that you have to forgive us. Joseph knew their message was a lie. He wept because after all he had done for his brothers, they lied to him. When Joseph's brothers came to see him, they were afraid of what he might do. This was the last straw. Joseph called them all dirty liars and had them all thrown into prison. Eh, just kidding. Even after this, Joseph spoke kindly to them, saying, Don't be afraid. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. People forgiving again and again like Joseph did is pretty unusual in the Bible. Well, until Jesus shows up. Once he comes along, this kind of radical forgiveness is everywhere. The book of John calls it grace beyond grace. Jesus taught that we should forgive people again and again. But he didn't just teach it, he lived it. Jesus forgave people no matter how many times they messed up. And he forgives us that way too.